हाई गाइज वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज बाइनोमियल थियरम द टॉपिक दैट कम्स अंडर दिस यूनिट आर वी हैव इंट्रोडक्शन बाइनोमियल थियरम फॉर पॉजिटिव इंटीग्रल इंडिसेस जनरल एंड मिडिल टर्म्स सो वी विल सी ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स वन बाई वन इन माई अपकमिंग वीडियो So in this video, we will see the introduction to binomial theorem. So now let's see what is this binomial theorem. Here, name itself says binomial, which means two terms in an expression. So such expressions are called as binomial expressions. So what is this binomial theorem? So this binomial theorem helps in expanding or solving the binomial expressions. Understand? So binomial theorem helps in solving the binomial expressions let's say we have a binomial expression a plus b to the power 0 so we know anything to the power 0 is 1 let me give one more example a plus b to the power 1 we all know this is a plus b itself now if i ask a plus b to the power 2 so this also we know a plus b whole square is a square Plus two ab plus b square. Now, if I ask what is a plus b to the power three, this also we have studied. A cube plus three a square b plus three ab square plus b cube. So now, if I ask what is a plus b to the power six? this we have not studied right you can tell me i can write as a plus b to the power 3 into a plus b power 3 here you have to expand this first so this has got how many terms 1 2 3 4 terms again this has got four terms you have to keep multiplying right so this is a long process so in order to overcome this we are using binomial theorem to find the value of or to solve a plus b to the power 6 So, with the help of binomial theorem, we can solve binomial expression with higher indices. Here, indices means the power. So, we are studying this binomial theorem. So, if you see these, can you see any pattern here? If I see the power here zero, that means I got one term. If I have one, I have two terms. If I have two, I have three terms, right? If I have three, there I have four terms. So if I have six, there must be how many terms? Seven terms, correct? So that is one observation. What else you can see here? The sum of the powers in each term will be equal to the given indices. Say for example, I have one here. The term power is one. Here also we have one. If our power is two, then each term has got power two. See, look here, a power a square means the power is two. Here, a plus a power one and b power one. When I add them, that is two. Here also we have two. Now, if I see in this example, when the power is three, each term, the sum of the powers in each term is equal to the index. So he see, look here, we have three. Here, a power two plus one, so that is three. Here one plus two, that is three. Here also three. Here one more observation I can see here is, if the power is one, we are starting with a power one, and then onwards it goes decreasing, and the b power is increasing. Say for example, if I see this one, here I have power two, so we are starting a with power two, and then the power of a is going decreasing. See a square here it's a, and we don't have a term here. But b power is increasing. We have b here, b square. So if I see in this example, there the power is three. So we are starting the a with power three, and the a powers are going is keeps decreasing. So a cube we have here a square and here a, and then in this term we don't have a. So here b is introduced inside, and then the in, the power increases b b square b cube till where till the power three. So these are the three observations we can see, right? So now let's talk about coefficients. What are coefficients? 
If I ask what is the coefficient of a here is 1. The coefficient of b is 1. In this term what is the coefficient? 2. Right? In this term what is the coefficient? 1. Similarly in this term what is the coefficient of a square b? Is 3. Right? So there is a term called Pascal's triangle which talks about coefficients. It's a triangle formed by using the coefficients. So when the index is 0, what is the coefficient? Coefficient is 1, right? So coefficient of 1 is 1. Now when the index is 1, the coefficients are 1 and 1, right? So 1 and 1. When the index is 2, what is the coefficient? We have 1, 2 and 1. So I have 1, 2 and 1. Similarly, when the index is 3, the coefficients are 1, 3, 3 and 1. So I have 1, 3, 3 and 1. So it follows the pattern, right? So can you tell me when the index is 4, how you can write the coefficients? So the starting is 1. So I will write 1. Ending also 1, right? So it's 1. Here if you see, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, right? 2 plus 1 is also 3. That means I should add. So when I add these two, I got this term. When I add these two, I got this. When I add these two, I got this. That means I should add this and this to get the coefficient. 3 plus 1 is 4. Here when I add these two, 3 plus 3 is 6. So when I add these two, 3 plus 1 is 4. And the ending is 1. So now if I ask when the index is 6, then, so you cannot write directly for 6. For that, first you have to write for 5. Seeing the coefficient of 5, then only you can write 6, right? So if the index is bigger, that means if I have 99 as a power, that means I should write all the coefficients up till 98. Then only I can write 99. So this is a drawback. We cannot keep writing, right? So to overcome this, we are introducing the concept of combinations. We will see that in a moment. But before that, let me give one example. So how to solve when you have a small index by using these two observations. Say for example, let me raise this. Say for example, we have a binomial expression. I have 2x plus 3y to the power 5. So the index is small, right? To the power 5. So to the power 5 means here it is 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 6 plus 4 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 4 plus 1 is 5. And the ending is 1. So these are the coefficients. So from this here observation, I know when the power is 5, there must be 6 terms, right? So I have 1 term, 2 term. Why plus? Because this is plus. 3 term, 4 term, 5 term and 6 term. So I know the coefficients. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5 and 1. From the here we have seen when the power is 5, first the A term will have power 5 and then the A term's power keeps decreasing, right? And the B will introduce and the B's powers are increasing. So let's put here. So this is our A and this is B. So A here is 2x to the power 5. It starts with 5. And 2x to the power 4. 2x to the power 3. 2x to the power 2. 2x to the power 1. And we don't have A. And where does the power B will come? So the second term. So that we have 3y. So 3y square. 3y cube, 3y to the power 4, 3y to the power 5. So let's simplify this. 2 power 5, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32. So 32x to the power 5 plus here 2 power 4 into 3 into 5. So that will give you 240 x power 4 and y. Similarly here 3 cube, sorry this is 2, so 2 cube 
into 3 square into 10. So that will give you 720 x cube y square plus here we have 2 square into 3 cube into 10. So that will give you 1080 x square y cube plus here 2 into 3 power 4 into 5. So that will give you 810 x y power 4 plus 3 power 5 is 243 y power 5. So this is the expansion of this binomial expression. So here this we could do only because the power of this binomial expression was smaller. But if it was a bigger power then we cannot keep writing the coefficient and then according to that we cannot write this right. It's a long process. So in order to overcome that we are, we are introducing the concept of combination and rewriting this triangle. Okay, we will see that but before that pause the video and note this down. So I rewrote this Pascal's triangle. Same pattern I wrote it here. Right? Check. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. Same pattern, right? So now let me erase this part. So we all know what is the formula for NCR. So what is NCR? NCR is nothing but N factorial divided by R factorial into N minus R factorial where R is greater than or equal to 0 but it should be less than or equal to N. So this is the formula for NCR. We have studied this. So now let's see how to rewrite this Pascal's triangle by using the concept of combination. So here if you see I have 1 now, how I can write this one in terms of combination? So, let me use the black marker. So, one, I can I write this one as, when index is 0, can I write one as 0, C0? What is 0, C0? That is 1. So, here n is 0, r is 0. So, 0 factorial is 1, r, fact, r is 0, so 0 factorial is 1. So, 0 minus 0 is 0 factorial, again 1. So, 1 by 1 is 1. Similarly, when n index is 1, can I write this 1 as 1c0? 1c0 is also equal to 1. So this one I can write as 1c1. That will give you 1. And for the index 2, I can write this 1 as 2c0, this 2 as 2c1 and this 1 as 2c2. For index 3, I can write this as 3c0. So 3 is nothing but 3c1, 3c2, 3c3. Similarly for index 4, so 4c0, 4c1, 4c2, 4c3, 4c4. For index 5, 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, 5c3, 5c4, 5c5. So from here what you can observe? If the index is 5, then you can write the coefficients as 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, 5c3, 5c4, 5c5. From r is equal to 0 to 5, right? Now if index is 99, then your coefficients will be? From 99C0 to 99C99, right? So in order to write that, we don't need the previous coefficients. You can directly write. So let me give an example. Let's see how to expand A plus B to the power 7. So if you here if you see the index is 7, we know how many terms will be there in this expansion n plus 1 terms right we have seen that before in the observation seeing the pattern so we should we want we have 8 terms so we want 8 terms 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 terms so index is 7 so our coefficients will start from 7c0 7c1 7c2 7c3 7c4 7c5 7c6 7c7 
from r is equal to 0 to 7 right and now how you will write the terms we know the first term will be a to the power index so a to the power 7 then onwards a power decreases 7 6 a power 5 a power 4 a power 3 a power 2 a power 1 a power 0 a power 0 is nothing but 1 then b will come to the second term so then onwards b power increases b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 so this is the expansion or expanded form of a plus b to the power 7 now let's write for the general form when this index is a positive integer n all right so this is applicable for the positive integer n so how i can write a plus b to the power n and can be anything is equal to n c 0 to the a power n right plus so let me raise this plus n c 1 a power n minus 1 here a powers are going down that means decreasing we are minusing 1 see from 7 we have came to 6 so minus 1 and we have introducing b plus n c 2 a power n minus 2 b square plus and this keeps going until you reach n c n minus 1 that is a n c n minus 1 means this term i am writing now a power 1 that is very previous term into b power n minus 1 i am writing this term the nth term will be what n c n b power n right see n c n b power n so this is a general formula to find the expansion of any binomial equation where n is a positive integer. So this is it in this video. See you soon. Till then take care. Almighty bless.